King at a hospital decides to go inside a room where many doctors and nurses are afraid to be in. The room in question is located on a floor that, according to rumors, is haunted. It isn't known if the rumors are true, but apparently, after what was captured, it may be the case that something truly strange is happening on this floor. On March 9th of 2021, a nurse known as Shanae Richardson pays a mm -hmm. visit to the floor in question. Mm -hmm. On this floor, there's a hidden room that for Shanae. some reason is blocked off from access. So, one night, Shanae decides to enter this room. She had gained access by asking a custodian to open it for her. But little did she know, this was a bad idea. The following is her video. This is why, bro, this is why some of y'all don't deserve y'all. Skim to win. Bro. Like, cause what you opening this for? What you asked to go in there for? It was yeah, locked and like, key. Like, what you opening this for, bro? What are we not, doing? There's you warnings on the door. You're a nurse. Go tend to them people, bro. Go, go tend to them people, bro. Watch. So everybody wants to see what's behind the door. So I'm back and I'm gonna show you what's finally behind this door, okay? But tick tack. All right, so one more time. This is everything that's wrote on the door behind this door in this hospital and I'm she about to be scared so she's gonna go inside. You at least have a light, bro. You cut your flashlight off. Mm. What the hell is that? What is what just happened? It happens quickly, what but in happened? case you missed it, here it is again. What the fuck just happened? Well, I didn't even see it. Mm. I don't see that. I light it, twin. Oh, 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 fuck. It now makes sense as to why Shanae had suddenly shut the door. Oh, out of instinct, she, she had backed away door. upon Wait. seeing what looks like a face staring at Shanae she from a distance. That, she shut that door it's quick as hell. Its head seemingly stays oh. in place without moving an inch. Or at least, it seems like that, because apparently, viewers claim that the head can be seen moving for just a bit. She wasn't exactly sure what she'd seen, but whatever it was, nah, it prompted you a sudden you go back. to leave the space immediately. You gotta go back. It was only after watching the video mm -hmm. that she saw what it was. Not much else is known about this incident or what occurred afterwards, but until there's an update, oh, this come incident on, bro. remains a mystery. Nah, 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 Shanae. Oh, come on, hey, Get your ass back yeah. up in there. Lock in, get cut lock in. Yeah, you wanna do this with TikTok, get your ass back in there. Do not enter, but I'm gonna enter. Hear that. On July 28th of 2024, a certain video was shared among many residents of a town where something quite peculiar had taken place. It happened right outside someone's house at around 7 p.m. Those who live here had thankfully caught the event on camera via surveillance footage, but the video itself is just part of the reason why neighbors are concerned. Whatever happened here had sent someone to the hospital. It Whoa. was immediately after knowing this that residents Whoa. of this neighborhood became terrified. The following is what was captured. Watch. What's happening? He stepped inside the house. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What the hell just happened? Time out. Time out. You saw the thing. The fly? thing flew in front of the camera, and then he just he crumbled. What? Aaron says, "Snuggle, snuggle, ghost." <laughs> what in the fudge? It was immediately after being knocked out by something that two people, presumably friends or relatives, come over to assist the man. Accompanying them is a dog that for some reason heads over to the spot where the object had seemingly flown from. It isn't clear why the dog had gone there first, but viewers think that maybe it was seeing something no one else could. Although quite strange, it's what occurred before that's most baffling. It's what looks like timing. a flying object appears to strike the man from inside the, the house. Timing. Now it's worth noting that he's okay, but he did need a couple of stitches afterwards. But strangely, he doesn't recall what happened. He don't even this remember! is a blur to him as the impact was intense. Not much else is known about this occurrence, what? except that it took place nah. in Colombia. But like most videos, I'll let you come up with your own conclusions. Nah, Just what exactly was caught on camera? Nah, that's a, bro, that's a lot of force, bro. That's a lot of force, bro, just to do Should somebody like that. Version eight. 
It's nighttime in the following footage Should when a baby a monitor VA. inside a child's <laughs> crib captures something that its parents have been worried oh, about. Shoot. It was all caught on the night of October 23rd of 2023. Suffice to say, their concerns have intensified after seeing what was captured. Even worse is that after this incident, their oldest child, who's only a year older, right. did this. Now, before showing the clip, it's worth noting that they were being babysat by a relative who recorded the okay. whole incident. Okay. Take a look. Sure, sure. She's talking to somebody. She sees somebody. Cheyenne. You hear that? Uh, uh, Cheyenne. She's talking to somebody up in that joint. Yeah, for Hell sure. Hell no, Tony. Look at yeah, waving. waving. She's waving. She waving at something. She's waving. Nah. Nah, you got no, have... sir. Nah, bro. This the oldest baby, so the other baby ain't doing, ain't even walking. Yeah, nah, bump this. Now, what's concerning about this is that the parents have seen this behavior before in the house they used to live in. The house in question oh, is where no. this footage took place, and it's what happens in it that made them move out. Living in their old home, their children used to stare at things that didn't appear to be there. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they would start crying after staring at nothing. Something was upsetting them, but the parents weren't sure what exactly that was ah. until they saw this. After watching countless recordings from the baby wait, monitor wait, inside wait. their youngest child's crib, okay. one video caught their attention. The following is that video. Did the baby Watch. get picked up? There's no way. Or is it a face behind? There's no way. Look in between the gate, I'm guessing. Oh, Whoa. no. We don't need no problems, big fella. Wait a minute. Wait, what? It's more. It's still up there moving, twin. Oh, no. <laughs> it's for this reason, the among others, that the family has moved out of this house. They believe that what was captured had been the spirit or entity that's been upsetting their children. Replaying the footage, one can tell that this black, shadowy mass is anything but a person. Yeah, the way so. it glides past the crib and the fact that it flies towards the ceiling suggests that this was something else. No, 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 no. The parents hope that it hasn't made its way into their new home. If so, then they don't know what else to do. Yeah, no, For now, bro. the family continues to share videos of paranormal happenings from their past home in the hopes that someone could explain what's happening it, it and see if anything must be the goddamn, what you, the house need an exorcism, bro. Yeah, that thing then. That, it, it's it's following the babies, bro. bro. That thing didn't attach Come on, man. Y'all, bro. Done to keep them safe. Mm -mm. Moving houses didn't work. Yeah, it, 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 it's time, bro. It's time. In the following video, a teenage boy and his family are taking a tour of a new house they had just moved into. Please don't tell me it's the that family in this footage hasn't had the chance to check out their new home until now. What? So naturally, out of excitement, they bring a camera to record this why? moment. Why are, you moving, why are you moving in before checking out the house? Unless you move in state to state. Yeah, bro, that's not. That's a, the only way. Moving state to state is the only way. Yeah, bro, bump all that, bro. <laughs> even then, even then, I'm gonna fly there and check it out. My old house yeah. used to be built on top of a pet cemetery, then it burned down years later. Yeah, it deserved to burn. So yeah, I ain't gonna lie to you. But unbeknownst to them, this special occasion would suddenly turn creepy. It would be at this house they recently called home, where something very strange happened. Especially if it's an old house. The following is their footage. Take a look. Okay. You know what? It makes sense now. What? You know how on all the horror movies where the family moves into a new creepy ass old house and they never seen a house before? It makes sense now. Yeah, you, a, I used it's to be like, bro. yeah, it's real. It's, it's real. real bro. They really be doing I'm this. I'm not doing nothing like this, bro, ever. Darth Artisticus, welcome in, welcome in, welcome in. <laughs> Do you remember the rumor where white gravestones let ghosts walk free? White gravestones let wa ghosts walk. I ain't never heard that one. Never. Oh, he's got the where is it? 
We could put Obi in this house, man. I know, we can. That's the you attic. Can you do that acting there? <laughs> you wanna go in there? Uh, I'm going there, twin. Do not go in that attic. I'm gonna be so real with y'all. Do not. I'm in scared Germany, to go in this. It's very popular. Hey, I'm staying away from Germany. I'm gonna be so real with y'all. I remember it was earlier this week when I brought the trash out. Right. I really ever look in the window that's above the garage. Mm hmm. I looked up there. As I was bringing stuff out, I turned around. I just I just randomly turned around and I looked up and how the light is in the attic. It looked like somebody was standing up there, like well, the light in the attic. The light should be off. No, nah, the light was on. The light's on in the attic. Why is it on? I don't know. The light's on in the attic, but it looked like somebody's head was illuminated, like silhouetted. And I brought the trash and I was like, wait. I turned around. That bitch was gone. He want to say this shit now while we watching the go. He want to say granted, this shit now. Granted, see, I don't got nothing to worry about. Because you down there. This is right by Mikey. Eric? Wait, you want to go in there? Alright. Yeah, I want to see what's... Ah! Oh! Out of nowhere, the sound of a screaming child is heard from somewhere inside the house. Yeah, the whole Realizing family heard it. no one else was home except an older relative, they bolt out as fast as possible, the knowing that what just happened was not it. normal. Either a child Jeez. from outside the house had screamed, or, as viewers believe, something else was captured. Listening closely, the scream seems to have come from inside the house. But strangely, there hadn't been another child inside. Uh -huh. If no other kid was present, then who was heard on camera? With no further updates or videos from this family, it remains unknown uh, as to who or even what had spooked them. I'm just glad I ain't captured nothing crazy, bro. Aw, oh, facts. Number six. On the rocky cliffs of an ocean side, oh, a very peculiar video was taken. The video itself starts off by showing a scenic view of the ocean. Okay. But apparently, it wouldn't just be the ocean that astounds the person recording, but rather something else. They hadn't noticed what was captured until much later, Ooh, and they were captured. left even more spooked after learning that this place has had many people pass away, specifically oh, from jumping off. Oh, Nicole, oh, the person who took this, explains what she captured. Take a look. Why the hell are you jumping from there? It's they probably dropping a little bit closer down, yeah, not about, where she is exactly. I'm about to say, because it's clear. <laughs> Rewatching this video I took of the ocean, and I just now realized I captured a voice. Clearly, it's not my voice. No way! That was clear. That's that was one of the clearest clear. ones. That last scream and this was clear as hell. That was Look at it, mate. It's the ocean. Nah, GG's on that. <laughs> GG's on that. A voice clear as day is heard on camera. No one else had been around, which rules out the possibility of this being said by someone close. Even weirder is that the voice sounds staticky, giving it a robotic quality. From Australian to that of a pirate's voice, viewers believe that this may have been the spirit of someone who unfortunately passed away on this spot. Just Baggy like Nicole, bones. <laughs> they too might have been enjoying the view. But whether ghost or not, the voice alone is quite strange and continues to baffle Nicole to this day. Nah, that's nuts. The thing is just a voice. It could be fake chat. You never know. In fact, that could be AI. <laughs> now, the following video comes from Isabel Riley, who no doubt believes it that she may like have evidence smoker. of something that can't yeah. be explained. The video she's made shows this evidence, which was captured by her boss, who later shared it with her. According to her boss, he was at a restaurant in New Orleans uh -huh. known as Antoine's. Oh. Now, at this restaurant, there's a oh, huge wine cellar with man. hundreds, if not thousands of wine bottles worth millions. Mm -mm -mm. So, out of curiosity, he checks it out. But if only he knew what was down there, he wouldn't have gone. While yeah, being in the there, cellar, sir? he snaps a couple of photos, some of which show the owner of the restaurant who was giving him a tour. In one photo, we see the restaurant owner on his laptop, who apparently was uh -huh. placing bids for more wine during an online auction. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. The boss takes a few more photos and then leaves the restaurant before calling it a day. The next okay. morning, he's on his phone looking at his camera roll when he notices something odd in one of the pictures that he took. Isabel presents those images. Take a look. So this is the first picture that he showed me from the wine cellar. Uh -huh. You can see like this guy. 
who uh, is on up. his laptop. Was that in the background? At auction, doing whatever. Look like somebody getting freaky. And here is the next picture that he took. Oh, oh. shit! Um. So we all see that. <laughs> that is a full body apparition. <laughs> looks like a woman in this like black Victorian dress and when I was showed this I ain't gonna I, lie to y'all believe it went on a ghost tour in New Orleans I'll never do it again twin yeah nah we was out there it wasn't it wasn't scary because it was a lot of people there yeah but the fact that we was getting signs that we was playing with ghosts yeah. with multiple different tools I ain't gonna Nigga, then, I ain't gonna hold you. Then this ghost shit gotta be from you if we keep it a whole bean. Nah, that ain't for me, Twitch. Because you it's was playing with the blue. demons. I got saged up in and out, Twitch. Like, shit, that don't mean shit. Nigga, you was playing with the demons, bro. I got saged up in and out, Nigga, bro. Mikey was playing with the demons, shit. Tight shit, tight shit, tight shit, tight shit. Genuinely had full body chills. That's is insane. I have never seen anything like this. And. I need to not be alone in seeing this because holy. Unlike anything Isabel has ever seen, a seemingly full-bodied apparition appears clear as day in the pic. A cursed image is what some believe this might be. Cursed Others, image. however, have no idea what was captured. Mind, Grandma, if only two people had been in the cellar, then who was the third person? And why do they appear to be dressed in clothes that seem to have come from the 1800s? Yeah, all clothes. They, or it, were nowhere in sight when the photo was taken. Mm -mm. It's for this reason that Isabel's boss is certain that something ghostly was caught. Whether a ghost or something else, viewers can't help but feel immensely Man, uneasy when looking at this like pic. Reacher. They don't know why, but yeah. something about it disturbs them. While Isabel has yet to figure out what was captured, viewers are certain that this was paranormal. But as always, let me know your thoughts on this one. Nah, on that. Attached to a bottle. On a Thursday home. night, somewhere in Florida, two friends decide to record themselves at a slumber party when something pretty creepy is captured. Both friends hadn't noticed anything peculiar in the video until one of their moms had seen the footage. This is my daughter and her friend. Please watch closely between them. No one else was up in my home. Was there something behind her? The mother in question is baffled by this footage, given that it took place inside her home where other strange things have happened before. Occasionally, she would catch her dog looking at something that doesn't appear to be there. And other times, she would see her cat Always staring at a space the that's completely the babies. empty. Now, although she thinks there might be an explanation for both common occurrences, she can't say the same for the following incident. This footage is unlike anything she's ever seen. It's late at night when this is captured. This is my daughter and her friend. Please watch closely between them. No one else was up in my home. Look between them right I'm a crochet now. Bro, that look like a nigga on a saw bike, bro. Hey, hey, hey. You like to play a game? Ah, play a little game, man. Yeah. Well, I'm a crochet crack now. Oh, they didn't even see it. That motherfucker rolls from the ashes. What was he meant rolls. to be a fun little video ah. has turned into a scene out of a horror movie. Without realizing it, both friends had caught something moving in the background. It appears Burn briefly for just a split second before exiting from view. Whether a person or something else, no one had noticed it until the video was sent to Isabel's mother. It was shortly thereafter that both girls became aware of this mysterious figure. We While always it is hear uncertain as to what was captured, they can't help Even when me and my wife are upstairs. Nah, bro, y'all leave that house. house. Leave that, that mother. Leave that house. Leave that house. Leave that house. What y'all doing from the basement? Mm -mm. Laughs? Mm -mm. Okay. think that something right. otherworldly was present during that night. All right, Twin. This one continues to remain a mystery. Ah, yeah, nah. That's one of my biggest fears, bro. What? Looking catch at, it, looking at my yeah. footage that I didn't, I was oblivious to and seeing so something not, in the background, bro. Yeah. Like, that's why I'd be scared to, when, when like a rain camera say something was in the room and then you watch it and there's nothing there i'm like yeah i could analyze this right now but i'm not gonna yeah i'm not gonna now this next video was recorded by a security guard who was on duty during the night of october 30th of 2012. the quality of the video may not be the greatest but it's what happens in it that Boy, definitely I makes up the for basement. it the guard who took yeah, this was disturbed to say the least Although where they work is well known for strange happenings, the parking structure of a Costa Rican mall is the last place they would think of as being haunted. Right. But this isn't surprising, as many visitors of this mall have caught footage of something strange in the parking lot. 
it's really the reason why most people don't like parking here at night. Even to this day, security life. guards are hesitant to patrol the parking lot at night as stories and videos like this have left them pretty spooked. The year is 2012, and on this night, a security guard sees that one of the cameras inside the parking lot is sensing motion. The space is entirely hey, empty, so there I shouldn't be any movement going on. Not sure what's happening, the guard calls someone to check the space, but as they check, this happens. Damn, was our phones that bad? Yo! Following that nigga! He told him to look behind it. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Real time! Real time! Oh! He said, you look no. behind you! I don't oh. see it. Oh, no. Nah. And the nigga literally just said, I felt like something was there. Did mm. you see something? The nigga said, Yeah, I saw something weird. Mmm. Yo, Levi, don't come in here with that shit. Levi, you get banned. Correcto, correcto. Aquí salió algo raro. Mae. Y vengate mejor. Todavía, vamos, todavía. Yo. Hey, go straight walk and talk. Hey, turn around, bro. Do we come back? No. Yeah, seen on video. Okay. The parking structure is devoid of any visitors during this time. Mm -mm -mm. If no one had been there, then mm -mm -mm. what exactly had set off the sensor on the camera? Man, it something was only there. It to be going off at this exact spot, and it was already going off before the guard had arrived. Well, after wow. a few seconds, it becomes wow. apparent as to what was being picked up by the camera. A dark, shadow-like figure that appears out of nowhere. <laughs> In a stealthy manner, the shadow inches closer and closer to the unsuspecting guard before suddenly vanishing in an instant. Although taken in 2012, visitors continue to report strange occurrences within this parking lot. I'm never going and no there, doubt believe that all. the San Pedro Mall in Costa Rica never is haunted there, through and through. It's gotta be. Yeah, Everywhere. Not, uh -huh. Every inch. Jesus Christ. Number two. Now this next video comes from a woman what named a, Kels, uh, who in 2020 uh, caught footage of I'm something she can't explain out. to this day. <laughs> The majority of her videos consist of her in front of a camera while doing tarot card readings. She's been doing this for quite some time now. You want to be spiritual, it's going to get spiritual. One in particular stands out from the rest. You playing with them boys. It was while You're doing a tarot with. card reading that Kels captured this. I keep hearing stop. The music just stopped. Weird. Anyway, you talking I keep to hearing him. stop. The fan just turned on. Okay, that's the message I'm getting. In order for you to go where you need to go, you need to stop where you are now and let spirit take over. With the Four of Wands card, I'm definitely seeing there's a union. There's somebody waiting for you on the other side in love. But you also have opportunities coming in. Um, wow, talk back. You're like your spiritual journey. Speak your cool. spiritual journey is about to take a whole new level, a whole new turn because you've been patient for so long. If you look at the, let's see if I can get close. If you look at the Eight of Pentacles, you. To Kels, this occurrence doesn't phase her, considering that this has happened many times before. It was just then that she was able to get it on camera. Despite the music stopping on cue and the fan suddenly turning on only seconds later, Kels does not think this was merely a coincidence, uh, but a rather radio. someone or to something that, trying yeah. to communicate yeah. with her. Everything that, that went on during this moment, according to her, was a sign. But of course, like all videos, you be the judge. Was something supernatural yeah, you gotta at work leave here? That stuff along, or son. might there be something to explain this? Well, hell, you might not even need to test it. The fan turned if off. If you caught yeah. something crazy on camera, why. or Fact, if there's any ghost hey, man, videos you'd like me to check out, send me some ghost com. videos, twin. Number one. In this last video, a uh -oh. woman named Rosanna is lying in bed when the most disturbing thing is caught on camera. Now, although she was terrified to the point of being paralyzed by fear, room? she <laughs> tries her best to film this incident, and for good reason. Getting this on this camera would be apartment. the best evidence she's had so far in trying to prove that something isn't right with her apartment. Oh. Her place is not what it seems, and it's for this reason that her children can't live with her. Things at home have gotten so bad that she oh, fears no. for their safety, no. including no. her cat. No, 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 no. It's so bad she moved her kids no, out. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy. That's just... In one video, Rosanna's cat does this. Oh! 
Trust the animals! Rosanna's choice to keep her family away from this place is mainly due to this and many other occurrences. You get away but as of recent, something's happened what that fully convinced that? her that to keep not just the family away, Michael. but also her what? 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 What did you, what did you see? Look at the door. Away from this place is mainly due to this and many other occurrences. But as of recent, something's happened that's Watch the door. Fully convinced her to keep not just the family away. You saw it. I ain't seen nothing. We just, we just gonna wait for it. We but gonna also wait for it. herself. It's late at night when this is captured. Why so, are you sleeping? Something's there at the alone? door. Something leaves. Oh shit! Oh shit! Rosanna, why are you sleeping here alone? It don't make no sense to evacuate everybody and not yourself. When you tweaking, it's get, the bag is getting momentum. Nah, chat. We just gonna we, we she got string. She just pulling the string. You know what I'm saying? She got she got string. Man, right hell, she pulling, boy, you know it sounds like she about to have an asthma she attack. She ain't pulling asthma. nothing. Yeah, pulling. <laughs> <laughs> Grab the cat and leave. Rosanna, what the hell is, is that? that? A doll head on the thing? It is. Please, oh wait. No, no, bro. No, bro. Why are we here? <laughs> if you fear for the kids, fear for yourself. Oh! <laughs> what the fuck was that? Time to grab the brass knuckles and holy water. You goddamn right it is. No. You goddamn right it is. No, bro. <laughs> what is that? It's still going. What the fuck is that? Now, Rosanna states that during this moment, she had seen a shadowy figure appear right behind the door. You see? Soon after, I knew she began I saw to black something. out as though she was intoxicated. Oh. She done moved everybody else out of the house except for herself. The entirety of this incident is without a doubt pretty freaky. But while it still remains inconclusive on what occurred that night, some, Rosanna some is certain is that she won't that door, be staying bro. here for long. Until she has the funds to find another place, Rosanna will continue to own the strange apartment else and presumably capture more evidence of these happenings. But as always, let me know your thoughts on this one. Oh no, wherever you sent your kids, go there. Go there, I don't care if go you're not there, with the bro. baby daddy or not. See how it's gonna be. That look like one of them schools that have some shit going on. Yeah. This was something that happened so long ago that a lot of details are a little blurry. It's not like it happened yesterday. I'll try my best to fill in smaller details that I don't fully remember with how I best remember things played out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It was the last day of school. I was in the fourth grade. Okay. Fourth grade was the last year in our elementary school. What? Last day of school, I thought it was high school. Or yeah, it's just Where kids school. had to be picked up by their parents. Fifth graders were allowed to walk home on their own. Okay. My mom would always be the one to pick me up. On the last day of school, my friend Dennis and I had a play date plan to celebrate the last day of school. Dennis wasn't in my class this year, but we had okay. been friends since kindergarten. W he was in a different dismissal hallway from me. After school was over, we single file lined up and walked to the exit door at the end of the hall, okay. where we waited outside by our teacher, Miss Blue. Okay. I waited for Dennis's dad to appear from the crowd of parents shuffling in and out of the parking lot next to the doors. This is a real and voice. I heard my name. Voice? Tommy, Tommy. I look over and see a man waving at me as he approached. He introduced himself as Dennis's uncle and said he was picking me up. I went over to Miss Blue hey, and said, I'm Hey, kids, stranger, danger. Stranger danger, kids. Mm -mm. Kids are gullible too. That's the sad part about it. Self as Dennis's uncle and said he was picking me up. I went over to Miss Blue and said I'm being picked up. She asked, "Where is he, sweetie?" And I pointed to Dennis's uncle who waved at Miss Blue. Miss Blue dismissed me and I went with the man. Oh. He led us through the crowd and was a very quick oh. and jittery talker. Like he spoke fast and had a bit oh. of a stutter. He was walking incredibly fast. It was almost hard to keep up with him with my backpack on. He explained to me that oh. his brother, or Dennis's dad, was working later than expected, so he was driving me back. No. We no, got to his car, Dennis? which was a dark red hatchback type car from what I remember. 
and it took me this long to acknowledge the giant elephant in the room. Where was Dennis? Thank you. Why weren't we picking him up Thank too? you. How the hell he even know who Dennis is? Facts. Facts, bro. The man turned to look at me in the back seat and said that Dennis was already at his house. He's in the car. I was shy around people I didn't He's know, especially car. adults. And I wasn't one to openly speak my mind if I was confused. But I was very confused. This was making less and less sense. The whole drive, the man kept yapping, telling stories of his days in elementary, oh. asking me questions like what sports I played, what we're learning in class. So he obviously survived if I had this. to guess, we were in the car for like 10 minutes, which honestly for our town where houses were right on top of each other, that was a while. Yeah. My house was a five minute walk away from the school. We were definitely in an area I wasn't familiar with what? when he parked the car in front of his house. Oh, Lord. His house looked pretty normal to me oh, from Lord. what I remember. He led us inside and shut the door and locked it behind us. It was really, really dark. Brother, you just got kidnapped. You got kidnapped. You just got nabbed. You got nabbed, bro. How the hell did he get out of this? Oh, he bro. just got nabbed, bro. Inside the place, and I realized why. I ain't gonna lie, bro. That's one of my biggest fears for, like, my little brother. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie to you, chat. I ain't gonna lie to you. Anything that ever happened to my little brother. It's guns blazing. Boy. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> five, five, five. Boy. Man. All the curtains were shut. It almost felt like it was nighttime in there, especially because the only source of light was a dim lamp in the corner of the room. He then looked at me and smiled. I said, where's Dennis? And he started acting really jittery and nervous oh seeming. Oh my God. How he know he Dennis? I want to like, know that. Oh, I think he's downstairs playing video games. Give me a second. Wait here. He then disappeared into a nearby room, and nah, I heard a door open and then footsteps descending into a basement. I know my heart was already racing. I knew I was in danger. I went to the door to quietly try to open it, but I couldn't. It had some kind of lock that must have needed a key for. <sighs> oh, I oh really started God. to panic now, yet I still probably held out it a little really bit of hope that Dennis would be coming up those stairs, yep. but I knew the chances of that were slim. I regretted entering that house. I did the only thing I could think to do. I went to the kitchen and found a phone hung on the wall. I picked it off the receiver and dialed 911. The first thing I said when they answered okay. was in a whisper, please come to this house, I've been kidnapped. They heard me, they acknowledged me, but I didn't say another word. I hid the phone under a towel in the corner of the room with 911 still on the line. I hurried back to where the man left me. Stupid enough to get in the car, but smart, smart enough, enough to, to dial 911. Yeah, okay. yeah, bro. And hide the phone and stay, Jesus Christ. As I already heard his footsteps coming back upstairs. Then he called my name, saying, Come down, Dennis is down here. Then there was a pause. He repeated my name, and when I didn't answer, he came up the stairs fully to look at me. He asked me if I was okay. I felt so sick, and I was so scared. I hated myself for walking into this situation and not being wiser. I asked in a very scared voice if I could leave, and I remember the change in his face. His fake, friendly smile disappeared as he realized that I was yeah, no longer falling sicko. for this. He walked sicko. closer to me in a gentle manner until he was close enough to grab my wrist aggressively and he started pulling me towards the basement. Yo. I screamed and cried and he screamed at me, I'll let you go if you stop and behave. <laughs> so I listened. Sure. I went down the stairs and halfway down, the door sure. slammed shut behind me and I heard it lock. Oh. I walked fully down the stairs to this empty, unfinished basement with a concrete floor oh. and one singular support beam in the middle of the room. Oh. There was a depressing yellow glow in the room from one exposed light bulb oh. hanging on the ceiling. Oh, he was if there was a place for. you'd imagine kidnapped children for. to go, this would be it. He was done I for. heard his heavy footsteps upstairs. You could hear everything in this house. I don't he know what he was for. doing, but I heard him walking around for a while. Then he came to the basement door, opened it, and he called down asking if I'm hungry. I replied no. I didn't want him going into the kitchen seeing the missing phone. He shut the door and locked it again. I sat down there, waiting, with my heart in my throat, and then I heard it. Imagine not knowing if they on the way or not. Yeah, bro. Hoping they on the way. Now imagine bro. you in fourth or fifth grade. Bro. Not knowing, just just down there like, yeah, bro. I know I got kidnapped. I ain't gonna hold you, bro. I told, I, I, was, I was talking to my mom. And I was like, look, bro, because my mom looking for a new job, right? And she was like, she, uh, most of the jobs that they she finding, she can't be off at three. And I was like, look, I'm going to be so real with you. It don't matter what you do. 
is make sure you can pick him up from school. Make sure you can pick him up from school and be home with him. Or make it clear that only you and this person can pick him up from school. Because, bro, in today's time and age, bro, oh. The doorbell ringing three times from upstairs, followed by banging sounds, which were definitely the sounds of police banging on the door. I would refrain from screaming until I heard the front door open, but I never heard the man's footsteps approach the door. The doorbell kept ringing and I kept hearing the bangs. This went on for some time, until I heard a really loud bang sound, and then multiple heavy footsteps and multiple screaming voices. I started screaming for help as loud as I could at the top of the stairs, banging on the door. He got out there, the door was unlocked, and a police officer on the other side grabbed hold of me and hurried me outside. There were at least three cop cars outside. I had to tell everything to two of the cops outside as we waited for my parents to How show How the hell up. he no did it? The man from inside was brought outside and well, into I a cop know. car in handcuffs, and that was the last time I ever saw him. When my parents arrived on the scene, my mom was bawling her eyes out. There had already been a whole scene at the school as cops were called and Dennis's dad realized what happened. This man was a work associate of Dennis's father. When he somehow learned that Dennis's dad would be picking up Dennis and I from school on the last day, he seized the opportunity to do what he did. Got it. A complete man. sick fuck. I don't know how he found out what I. Watch who you talk to, people. Yeah, bro. Nine five four. What up? Now watch who you talk to, people. Yeah, Looks bro. like you can't trust As everybody. I, got older, I never really asked for more details because I try not to think about it. My mom went to counseling with me for months after this incident. I ain't gonna lie, Chad. I'm gonna be so real with y'all. I'm telling y'all, point blank, straight up, clear it. I ever go to prison, it's because something happened to my brother. Or something crazy in general. Or something crazy in general. You know if man? some boy, boy, let a yeah, boy. You know, even crazy. Like, I know my little brother is my screw. Just, man. You know, the sad part is. Don't matter where this story came from, real or fake. This has happened at least once Facts. on this planet. Facts, bro. This has happened at Facts. least once on this planet. Facts, bro. Uh, well, multiple times, really. Multiple times, niggas bro. Niggas get kidnapped all the time. Bro. But taking a kid from school because you found out something. This has happened before. Bro, I'll never forget uh, a kid got kidnapped from my school on 9-11. That's crazy. Like, I'll never forget that. That is. Oh, uh, and we didn't we didn't find out till like three four weeks later, because like people were just coming up to the school to get kids. He got it was his dad who picked them up, but his dad wasn't supposed to. Pick he wasn't them supposed up. to get them. But yeah, it was his dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just say my parents didn't have kind words for Miss Blue. Not verifying if I actually knew the person yep. picking me up. Yeah. If I didn't think to call the police before he basically threw me in that basement. I know for a fact I'd be if dead If he right had now. left him upstairs, yeah. it'd be a different story. This yeah. was like 17 years ago. That man might be out of prison for all I know. I appreciate y'all bailing me out, gang. Tommy gun. It was junior year of high school, and it was the last day of school. A lot of people cut school this day or left early after lunch period. Right. My friends and I were some of the latter. It was a stormy, dark day. Sorry to interrupt. Nigga, there's a haunted, 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 a haunted house haunted. in Beaumont. Where? Um, uh, by, um, Amelia. Whoa. By Whoa. Amelia. Whoa. There's a house over there that's been for sale for like forever. It's not Whoa. for sale anymore. Not five four. Appreciate the sub. The 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 story is, um, so the house. I know you remember Miss Grillo, right? Yeah. All right. So Shit. that happened. You call me and it'll come help you find whoever it is. Appreciate you, Death Shadow. I don't know if it was Miss Grillo or another teacher, but there was another teacher who lived at the house when they were a kid, and that house. Uh, she vaguely she remembered like. Things coming in the room and like she would see them. Right? I can imagine that being Miss Grillo. Well, in that story. Fast forward, and the reason I remember this last week, uh, a friend of mine had posted on uh, Facebook. He had went by the house and all the lights were on and the power's off at the house. That's wow. Okay. Yeah. All right. Does it cost money to follow? It's no. free to follow. Twenty follow. Lunch period. 
My friends and I were some of the latter. It was a stormy, dark day. A bunch of people from our grade originally planned to hit the beach on the last day of school, but that was obviously cancelled. So my smaller core group of friends decided to do something else. There used to be an abandoned elementary school in town that hadn't been used for like 10 years. There were plans to tear it down by the year's end. So Before we continue, anything crazy ever happened to you in high school? Really? Not really? Not really. I, I have the most normal fucking life there is. Outside of stupid shit I might have done on my own. Like, the craziest shit didn't happen to me till I started shooting music videos. Yeah. I, I have the most normal childhood ever. You ever skipped? No. Yeah, I skipped. I didn't do shit. Uh, aside from senior skip day, I skipped once. And I don't, I never think, did I don't even think I did that. So, I skipped one time. Uh, well, senior skip day, but it was one time before that. Um, And all we did was walk from... Westbrook to the Burger King to get food and we walk back. What Burger King? The Burger King of Feeling. Way over yeah. there. Y'all walked that far? But we left. Mikey, when I was Jeez. 16, my parents were looking for a house to buy. We looked at one house that was over 200 years old and we knocked when we went into the attic and found Bible verses scratched into Whoa. the doors, walls, and there was a single rocking chair facing out the window with a doll on it. That house was torn down like three years ago. Yeah, that's not nah, facts. Yeah, need to so tell it now. P P P. Uh, and I, I'll finish the story. And we'll go back here. So I skipped the one time. We go to Burger King. Of course, you did time that nigga out. You bitch ass nigga. I just realized what you said. So <laughs> we is me, my homeboys. It's, it's all of us. We're football players, right? Right. We walk there. We walking back, nigga. That is skipping because that's a long walk, nigga. Because we left at like ten a.m. That's a long fucking walk. We left at like 10 a.m. As that we come, talk about. As we coming back, we see a nigga in a um a gold F-150. Right. No, gold, it was a gold suburban. And the dude driving crazy, going like we're walking, we're on the other side that Westbrook is on. Uh -huh. We're walking towards Westbrook before you get to that market basket, right? Mm -hmm. We see a car driving crazy. Like crazy as hell, right? The dude, and we like, damn, what the hell going on? We keep walking, we keep walking, we keep walking. We hear, ah! Ah! he slam on the brakes and uh, he slide the car right in front of us as we going across, like we're crossing the street to get to the other side. He slammed the brakes and pulled right in front of us. Right. Nigga, we all like, yo, what the fuck? The dude get out the car, probably the biggest dude I ever seen in my life. Like, big, bald, sweaty. What y'all, what y'all, y'all smoking weed? What y'all doing? Y'all, y'all need to ride back to, y'all going to Westbrook, right? Get in the car, get in the car, come get in the car, come get in the car. Oh, he tried to get you. He, and bro, and it was three of us, bro. He tried to get you. It was you. three of us. And one of the, one of my, one of the, uh, my homeboys was like, he was like, fuck. He was like, uh, he was like, nah, man, we good, we good. The nigga say, nah, get in the car. We like, oh fuck. Did it before did it. Now the craziest part, cuz was tweaking, like he was shaking. And like all three of us are big. Like yeah. one of the niggas who with me, he like 6'2. The other nigga, like, uh, he like 6'1, but he he buff as shit. And we looking at this nigga, we like. We gonna have to fight this nigga, but we gonna lose. Like he we, was that big? the nigga was Michael. To this day, I've never seen anybody this big. Damn, the nigga was big and he was tweaking. And I was like, bro, and like I done fought niggas taller than me. I'm I'm not scared to fight, but I was like, I'm not I'm not getting with this nigga. Like if we start squabbing, I could tell we gonna lose, bro. Like the nigga, he wasn't what fat. Is, kid? He wasn't fat. He wasn't. The nigga was just solid. He had on a white beater, some fucking uh, what are them jail motherfuckers. Yeah, that's what, what he looked like, bro. And a nigga, yeah. and bro, I'm not scared of no nigga, but I'm like, if we hit this nigga, we losing. Like this nigga and gonna he tweaking, and he he tweaking. Bath sauce. and he tweaking. The nigga reaching his car. I'm like, fuck, we're dead. Nigga take out a beer, the beer open, he drink it, he throw oh, he it down. <laughs> he drunk. He that gone. nigga, that nigga say, Y'all get in the car or we getting active. Exact words. At that time, I ain't never heard get active before. I look at the one nigga, the one nigga who I'm with, the nigga 
always down to scrap. The nigga say, he look over at me. He say, Aaron, if I hit this nigga, we hopping this fence and we running. At that time, I'm like, if you're scared, <laughs> this a problem. If you're scared, this a problem. I'm scared. Because we, we, we willing to fight, but if you're scared, it's a because you're a known fighter. If you're not willing to get active with this nigga, this crazy. So we like, fuck. Did he hit him? No. Let me tell you what happened. The cops go by. Right? The cops go by. The cop cop look over at us. And it's, it's, it's Boma PD. It's not even the school cop. The cop look at us. And I look, bro. I, I had to, I had to look like LB, nigga. Because I look, bro. I say, that nigga cut on the lights, swung that bitch. He swung that bitch. That nigga got in the car and took off. Mm-hmm. Like, he, he took straight off, da, da, da. The cop, he like, he like, yo, everything good? We like, hey, man, we skipping class. Could you bring us back to school? We don't know what's going on with cut. He like, yeah, all right. He's like, did y'all know him? He was like, no. He brings us back to school. He brings us back to school. He's like, bro, y'all just, the, the cop was cool. So the nigga pulled up to school in the cop car. So look, 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 look. <laughs> this is the scary shit about this whole story. We had football practice, uh-huh. all right? So we going to football practice. I ain't snitch on nobody, nigga. Fuck y'all niggas talking about. And I should have snitched. Fuck, it don't even matter, nigga. We going to football practice. The nigga is backed in. Why? In front by of the, the fucking practice field. By the damn practice bro, field. Bro, not the practice field. The fucking, uh, the, you know where we used to have a real field? But and oh, in front of the in front of the stadium, he basically. he parked in front of the stadium. Where you, and if y'all don't know, you have to coming from the school building, you have to go to the through the parking lot to get to the field house, bro. The, to the locker room, bro. I see this nigga. I see this nigga. My heart drop. I say, like, bro, what the fuck going on? The nigga, the nigga, the nigga realizes me. The nigga cut the car on. He floored. He floored out of the parking lot. As he's flooring it out of the parking lot, he hit somebody. Yeah, this story going to be in this video. This he, video going just like this. He hit somebody <laughs> leaving the school, and they arrested the nigga. Wow. Yeah, bro. That was the scariest was, shit I... Yeah, yeah. He, that was the was, scariest shit I tweaker. ever experienced, bro. Tweaker. Scariest shit I've ever experienced, bro. Tweaker. It's been used for like 10 years. There were plans to tear it down by the year's end. So I was still wanting to do something stuff. fun on the last day of school. We all agreed to break drunk. into the building and just fuck around exploring. There were no cameras in that old building. Breaking and on a the, stormy day, what? no one would be outside monitoring the place or anything. So we all left after lunch period. Our friend Eddie already had a car and his license, so he drove us all to the abandoned school. Mm-mm. The school was in the middle of a neighborhood, not on any main roads or anything. There was a back parking lot covered by overgrown bushes and trees on one side, and the walls of the school on two other sides. It was a perfect spot to park and go unnoticed. The place wasn't boarded up or anything, it was just locked up. Eddie had a baseball bat in his trunk that he took out to smash one of the windows of the school. I was honestly so nervous that even through the pouring rain, one of the houses over the fence would hear the smashing sound. We all watched and nervously laughed as Eddie swung the bat into the window in front of the car, and after a few good swings, smashing it. He pushed away the stray pieces of glass stuck to the frame with the bat, and then he waved us over. We one by one climbed through the window into the school. Appreciate you, My dirty logic was savage. that the school was being dirty torn down savage. anyway. What does a broken window matter? I mean, kind of true. We all were inside the I'm building now. Still in trouble. <laughs> the window we climbed through was actually one of the windows for a classroom. A lot of stuff was still left in the room, including the desks and some decorations on the walls. Based on the decorations, it looks like we were in a fourth or fifth grade classroom. Right, it was very right. surreal to be inside of what was once an active classroom where little kids would come to learn. Now nothing but a cold, dark, and abandoned room collecting dust, waiting to be destroyed. Facts. The sounds of thunder and lightning. Not gonna lie to you. Creepy, creep, abandoned schools are creepy as shit. Nah, no, facts. That one I did the prank on with air, that oh, facts. abandoned, creepy as shit. Outside also added to the surreal feeling of it all. There were no lights on in the building. I'll never forget, I want Malala to film in a fucking abandoned building. And down, or was it Lalo? It was probably Denzel. It was one of them fucking. It was one of them fucking niggas. 
We went to a fucking abandoned building in downtown Port Arthur. <laughs> yeah, Aaron, you had a rough childhood growing up. That, for sure. We go in the building. The only thing lighting up the building is there's a fucking... I don't know how to describe it, but it's in the middle of the... It's a skylight, but it goes uh, straight down straight the building. Down. Yep. Nigga, we in there filming. I don't think it was Lalo. I think I was with fucking Denzel. Yep. We in that bitch filming. We start hearing shit. Oh, you probably heard the homeless. Probably heard the homeless. Nigga, we start hearing shit. That nigga, I forgot who we was filming. It wasn't Lalo. It was somebody else. But I remember the nigga who we was filming was like, yeah, we getting the fuck out of here. Yeah. As we was getting out of the climb out of the building, we just start hearing a whole bunch of rustling behind this nigga. Gone. Never went back. Gone. Power to the place was likely cut completely. Y'all want to go to we the hill house? No. The flashlights on our phones were plenty <laughs> to get around this. <laughs> even without them, it wasn't completely pitch black in there. As even though it was a dark day, some light was still creeping in through the windows and doors. We started traversing the hallways, going from room to room. Each classroom was still full of desks and chairs that hadn't been sat in in probably a decade. We all four were in the same classroom, when there was a sound that echoed down the hallway and into the classroom. We all went silent and turned off our lights for a moment. After a flash of lightning, we slowly accepted that it was probably nothing, so we continued on. We just went from room to room as our wet shoes all squeaked on the floors. Sneaking around wasn't possible, really. A lot of things in the school were visibly decaying. Yeah. You could really tell no one had stepped foot in there in ages. So as we neared the corner go. of the hall, I turned around just to look back down the other way. And at the doorway of one of the classrooms, it looked like there was something sticking out from the classroom. I asked my friends to also look. Their lights would maybe help see what it was. When all four of us were pointing our phone flashlights toward the door, Whatever that thing we were seeing was retracted into the classroom. All four of us quietly went oh shit amongst ourselves and we started running down the intersecting hallway. We stopped when we were far enough away. It seemed we were in the kindergarten wing now. Right. Then we heard another sound echo from down the hallway. It seemed we weren't alone. But who could be in here was the question. The place was locked up and every light in the building was off. The sound scared us into going into the first classroom we could find and shutting the door. It was indeed a kindergarten classroom. We were now concerned we'd get in trouble, so we waited in silence with our flashlights off. The rain was still coming down hard. Oh my god! Ain't I, nobody gonna hear you, bro. Twice. I just hit a brick, bro. We know you would. There was still thunder and lightning crashing every. If I don't have, bro, if I don't have a clear path to run. <laughs> if, I, if I don't have a clear path to run, because I'm, yeah, I'll I'm picture that scream he did <laughs> in the prank. That nigga said, "Ah!" I that's the last thing I expected to hear out of this nigga. And it wasn't like it wasn't like we was watching a ghost video and, and he was going, ah, all right, that he could have been playing that up. No, that was real. Fear. Let, me, let me tell you something, bro. The shit was so scary because I'm like, nigga, I can't tell how many motherfuckers it is right now. Two, uh, we got we gotta watch that clip after this video. Two, nigga. It, I, rem- I remember the dogs was going crazy. The dogs going crazy. We see one nigga in the school. Well, y'all saw it. And the other nigga is by the car. His only exit. <laughs> <laughs> nigga. <laughs> I'm about to run past that nigga. I see that nigga. I was like, ah. <laughs> and he stopped. It. Oh, we gonna watch it. We gonna watch it. seconds watch. or so. <laughs> Suddenly, the door to the classroom clicked open. And someone pushed it as it eerily creaked to a fully open position. We didn't see anyone at the doorway though. The hallway was almost pitch black. We all tried our best to stay quiet. And then, slowly, something appeared through the doorway. It was the shape of a head. We all saw it, and when there was another flash of lightning, we saw what it was. What was it? It was in fact someone's head, looking into the classroom directly at us. I started apologizing for all of us, saying we're leaving. The person at the doorway didn't move. They motionlessly and almost lifelessly just peered around the doorway in the classroom. Eddie asked, do you work here? No response. Oh. Eddie had a f*** this moment, clearly. 
He handed me the bat as he struggled to unlock one of the windows to slide it open just enough to crawl through. He crawled out first, then my other two friends, and I was last. Before I crawled out, I looked back one more time at the head at the doorway. Nah, totally. I crawled through as quickly as I could, at least hearing it never I hear the person run up behind me and grab my legs. Once I was out, I ran oh, to catch up no. with my friends who were already booking it back to Eddie's car. Don't even laugh him. We drove out of there in a Bro! hurry. Bro! You can't climb out the window without helping your mans! They left That's him. crazy! I mean, you can't run off after climb without helping your man. Somebody ran from the cops through your driveway in your backyard and they never found him? Damn. 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 Damn, they left his ass. That's crazy. That's nuts, bro. That is nutty. <laughs> Never looked back. Well, that nigga Aaron left me. Nigga, look. I ain't gonna lie. Hey, look, I'm gonna be real with you. I ain't gonna I'm be real with well, you. Well, no, no, he didn't, because I knew it was I knew it was fake. So I'm gonna really be real, real with you. I'm gonna be real with you. If you see me run, run. And I'm gonna be so <laughs> real with you. Mikey wasn't catching me. Y'all, y'all, niggas don't understand when I say I move and I'm scared. <laughs> I move if he I'm was moving. If I'm running, he nigga, catch moving. up. He was moving. The building was torn down later that year and has since been turned into a park. We never got in trouble for breaking in. To this day, we have no idea if that was some kind of worker or just some random person. Nah, Either way, twin. it was extremely creepy behavior on their part. That was I random. I would oh, whack that spurt. nigga with that bat, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Whack, whack, whack. Now, Call what police. Go, what if you go whack that nigga, that nigga? Swing your own like a bat? No, swing, swing. No, do this. Do this. Dick ah! <laughs> <Big> shot. <laughs> it's all for Dick shot. You. We jumping uh, him. I ain't gonna lie. That nigga catch a bat. I'ma just, you know what? Swing. <laughs> you know what? I don't know what I was thinking, Clay. I, I, I wasn't uh, familiar <laughs> with your game. I wasn't familiar with your game. I was swinging full force. Story number three. Last one of the bunch. When I was a freshman in college, uh -oh. I took a chemistry class. It was really difficult for me. The tables were arranged in groups of four. I sat at a middle table at the left side all the way to the end. Next to me was a guy named Zach. He was very awkward. He gave me Reddit moderator vibes. <laughs> to describe his appearance, he was like 5'8", he was a little overweight, and he had uh -huh. a really ugly, patchy beard. But Damn. he knew his stuff in chemistry. I think he was Smart, just good bro. in school overall. Yeah, 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 yeah. He started to talk in a pretty cordial way when he noticed I sucked in class and I would ask him for help. He started offering to do my homework for me and he even let me cheat off him on tests. I never got any kind of flirtatious vibes from Zach, but that might have been because he was just too awkward to flirt in person. Side yeah. note. Oh, this is a shorty. This yeah, is it's a shorty. Okay. Shorty. How do we see chat? Because we got it pulled up in stream last. Side note, college science classes is when I realized I wasn't built for this. That, <laughs> that's yeah. when I started getting put in chemistry and all that shit. When it was time for that, I realized no, that I'm, it was, I'm not. It, it, it was it was damn near college. Well, no, it pretty. was it was damn yeah, it was damn near the math. But then I left engineering. I'm like, yeah, we ain't doing this shit. Got put in the yeah, nah. Fuck, I missed them. Oh, that's the Mustang. Yes, <laughs> I, missed, I just missed them, chat. He eventually asked for my number so that he could send me homework-related stuff. Obviously, I gave it to him. He was helping me out a ton and didn't give off any threatening vibes. He just Next seemed a little reclusive. Crazy. Fast forward to the last day of Whoa. class, and Zach did something completely unexpected. Oh, shit. He asked me if I wanted to go on a date with him after class. Okay, Zach, I had shoot no your physical shot. attraction to Zach shoot in the shot, slightest, no. and our personalities were complete opposites. Shoot, but girl, shoot. it helped me throughout the semester maintain an A, so I had to let him down super politely. I lied Nothing and told wrong him I'm that. going away to Miami for the next couple of weeks and won't oh, be around. Shit. He right away responded, what about when you get back? I felt like two weeks was long enough of a gap in seeing each other where he would probably lose interest. Nope. So I said, no. yeah, I could be around, Hell no. or something like that. He responded with a really cringy, cool, as he nodded his head in response. From here till the end of class that day was really awkward for me. After class, I left straight from my car and drove right home. I was a commuter, not a dormer. So after the last day of class was over, okay. that was- Okay, it's not creepy yet. It's just yeah, normal it right is. now. But I feel like my boy is about to do some stalker some, yeah, shit. Some stalker 
Oh, he not gonna forget, first of all, because yeah. it don't sound like he talked to women. So he definitely did forget. He waiting. Yeah. Said, it was Thursday, and my other friends who went to the same school wanted to go out that night. Oh. So we hit town that night. And at some point, I got a text from Zach. He asked, when are you going to Miami? I told my friends all about Zach while we were drunk, how he got me an A, but now he wanted a date. Oh. My friends joked that I should just go on the date with him to be nice. No, don't I do that. I joked back don't sarcastically, yeah, for sure. Don't do that. I told myself I'd respond to it later, but I was drunk and completely forgot to. The next day, I woke up to two follow-up texts, one with question marks, and then the next one, you're going to ignore me now that you don't need me anymore, right? Oh! So I replied, hey, I'm sorry, I was packing. I'm going to Miami today. He replied, he lied. He saw you drunk at the club. He know you was there. That's creepy as hell. But he know, <laughs> he know you was there. So I replied, hey, I'm sorry, I was packing. I'm going to Miami today. Zach crashing out, He replied out, almost instantly saying, okay. Obviously, okay. there was no Miami trip, okay. but he should have never found that out. Later that night, my girls and I went out again, and while out, I got a scary text from Zach saying, I thought you said you were going to Miami tonight. I almost dropped my drink when I saw this. I showed it to my girls, and they were all freaked out just like I was. I replied to Zach, what do you mean? And he replied, nothing, forget it. I just don't like liars. I genuinely was scared that I was being stalked. I looked around the whole bar, but he wasn't there at least as far as I knew. So what the hell? I just didn't answer. Zach in a fucking At that shadow, point, I never planned on answering ass. him again. It wasn't until late that night, shortly after I got home, like literally taking my shoes off inside, that there were knocks at the door. It had to be like 1 a.m. I said, who is it? And it was Zach on the other side. He said, Whoa. it's me. I wanted to scream. I was home alone. I yelled through the door to leave or my dad will come out and kick your ass. That seemed to work as he didn't knock again. Oh, crash. I texted out, everyone Zach. I knew about the situation. My family, all my friends. I was horrified. Some suggested calling the police. Uh, I said I would go to the nearest station tomorrow. Man, call! Skin the wind, bro. The cops! Skin, Skin the, wind, the wind. Zach want the smoke? That's not the smoke you need. Yeah, facts, bro. That's not right, the nigga, smoke I'm gonna you be real, need, bro. Niggas, bro. Niggas, niggas just gotta be able to take note, bro. Yeah, you gotta, you know. Niggas gotta be able to take if note. You didn't, if you didn't really want to help her out of the kindness of your heart, then you shouldn't have helped her out of the now, kindness now, of your heart. Now, it, it's different if y'all in a situation, nigga, but y'all weren't in a y'all situation. Y'all weren't in a situation, brother. Y'all weren't, bro. Come on, now. Come on, brother. Zach, what you doing, bro? But tomorrow didn't even come yet when I received a super long, disgustingly weird and creepy text from guess who? I was appalled when I picked up my phone and read it. This is what it said. I'm feeling a lot of emotions right now. It's a real text message. <laughs> this is the last thing I expected to see. Yeah, did you use <laughs> GG's buddy. Oh, hey man, get you some friends. Make friends yeah, with women GG's that you buddy. don't plan on being romantic yeah. with. Learn how to talk to people. Learn how to take rejection. All of that yeah, shit, GG's bro. Buddy. Go touch some grass, damn. After being used by someone for months and then lied to, and hurt and anger are two of them. I thought from the start of the semester in chemistry class that our chemistry was through the, the video roof. Said these were no real. I mean, yeah, I know. I, I must was... say, I am hurt that you would make up something as elaborate as a two-week-long Miami trip just to avoid going out with me. Oh. Even after I stuck my neck out for you all semester and risked my own academic standing. Did you really? I definitely have noticed the Double way you looked history. at me sometimes Appreciate in class. It, no. I can't pretend there wasn't a hint of interest there. All I'm asking for at this point is for one date. That's it. I'm not asking your hand at marriage. Though I surely would be quite an ideal husband to have if I do say so myself. Okay, Zach. Okay, Zach. This okay, Zach. Zach. First of all, this is cringy. Before the stalker moves, I, I, your feelings are valid before you stalked her. Yeah, now, now, now you now, now you crazy. crazy. Yeah. Second of all, what are you gonna get out of her going on a date with you? Knowing she's all, that, it's, all, it's a no twin, yeah. Knowing that it's she don't want twin. you, and you gonna have to pay for the date. Yeah, facts, so what bro. are you getting? Facts, bro. You getting helping her with her schoolwork and paying for her free meal or yeah, date or nah, activity, geez, bro? And you'll never come on, bro. bro. What, what are we talking about? I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt that you needed more time to think over the prospect of going I'm on a date. I'm gonna give you the benefit of the doubt. I know to how make much I have yeah. to offer. All right, much more than these losers all over oh, campus. Bro. 
If you want, I can come back, come to, back your to your house and we could talk about it in person. I am only making this offer once. I'm just very crushed to feel like I wasted so nah, much this semester for bro. nothing in return. Nah, bro. Yours truly, Zach. Nah, bro. I sent this to everyone. I didn't nah, care that it was 3am. Nah, I called my dad until he picked up, and I told him how scared I was. Nah. After he read the text, he took it upon himself to send Zach a lengthy text of his own, and oh. he attempted to call him like oh. 10 times, but Zach is clearly oh. too much of a coward to yeah, pick up that phone much call. So. Nah. I also went very to the police so. station the next day with the text saying I wanted to press charges, and one of the people working there said that Zach would be contacted. Zach never picked up any of the calls from the police who were trying to get him to come in for of questioning, he freaking did, nor bro. did he answer any of their text messages. Zach completely disappeared. I never heard from him again. Between the police contacting him and my dad's pretty scary text of voice scared mouse, them all. that basement dwelling creep probably was shitting himself. At least that scared him off. Zach, you're in college, bro. Yeah, bro, come on. You're bro. in college. Luckily, I never saw him on campus again or anything like that. Nah, thanks. But I can say, I know what it's like to deal with an actual stalker. He didn't turn into an incel. Yeah. He was an incel, he bro. Was an incel. What? Are we, what? Florida Phantom. The Florida Late Phantom. Late one night around baby. 3 a.m. The Fl Florida Phantom. What? What, little nana? Florida is really Florida. Yeah. Not nah, like I knew that, but seeing it, that uncreative as shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that was. The hammock in their backyard flips over as what looks to be an eerie smoke-like figure seems to that fly not right, right through it. it don't look really now, not normally real I would try to take a closer look, real look real at this and find some simple explanation for a capture like this. Smoke, yeah. mist, a bug on the lens, and so on but this strange figure seems to hold its shape and appears to have a face torso and two outstretched arms as it floats along and out of sight that even creepier it. it then seems to return say, and can be seen moving in the other direction ain't nothing scarier than having a ring camera set up and catch it move it and nothing's on there oh, yeah, nah. it happened in my living room a couple times like bro what the f it's on my ring camera. Yeah, 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 I actually do got you do you do, you got ghosts in that bitch. You got like ghosts in here. Uh, that, in that, the that, backyard. From as it looks like you real, nope. Don't look up. Japanese paranormal investigator Takeuchi from the YouTube channel Takeuchi Camera sets out to investigate a long abandoned house that at one time was flooded and partially submerged. He has no idea what happened to the owners of the house or right. why it was left abandoned. So, Takeuchi immediately finds it extremely odd that there are no stairs leading up to the house's attic. He brings in a ladder so that he can investigate the inaccessible upper floor. Takeuchi climbs the ladder with his camera and takes a peek into the attic. What happens next is truly terrifying. What's going on? That is one of the worst ways to get into an abandoned anything that ladder don't even seem that sturdy at all they can just be going places by themselves by themselves <gasps> I, I don't come to my show to you in the kitchen that's your mic just be looking up there come here i wouldn't even do that with a group that's footsteps for sure. Oh! Oh! Whoa! Whoa! whoa, whoa. Hell no, nah, girl! Oh, for Hell so no! Nah. Oh, for so Hell no, nah, girl! Oh, for so feet. Boy, you jumped hard as hell. Hell no, nah, cuz. Been too long, cuz. Well, was that acting or was you really no, that, that was... That was... That was... That was... <laughs> Put the hoes on feet finder. Simple <laughs> fish, <for> real. <laughs> Damn, dear. Simple, what you doing up there? Why are you going up? Uh, okay. Uh, 
The fact that his only light is the light he got. Well, no, this old. Shut the other side, gang. Nah, but nah. Takeuchi's camera captures two nah, extremely buddy. pale, childlike feet standing on the upper attic floor. But as the investigator climbs up, crazy. he doesn't appear to see anything with his own naked eye. And when he pans the camera back around, the creepy little feet have disappeared. While looking through the attic, the light on his camera suddenly turns off. Oh. No way! No way! No way! Battery died and everything, see? And all you got is a flimsy ladder. Is he talking to himself or somebody else? He's talking to himself or the video. He's vlogging. What are you doing? What up, equal? Chat, would y'all do this? Would y'all ever do something like this, chat? Somebody, some of them have. Would y'all ever do this, chat? Somebody out there has, has went to an abandoned building by themselves. Admit it Hell if you no. have. Hell no. Nope. Hell no. Nope. I would bring my pistol, bro. Nah, I ain't bringing a gun. I pistol don't do that to the spirits. Imagine, imagine Bigfoot in that. <laughs> and what happened if he got to run? Oh, he got, he can't just. That nigga fall falling. Down. No, that nigga he got falling jump. down. And falling. He falling. Ah, boom, boom. He is falling. I wake up clapping. What's that? I, ah! <laughs> <laughs> I need a spirit cannon. Just to Kid. Just to Oh my god. You saw that? Yes, I saw it. Just to With an unreliable light, Takeuchi decides there. to just end his investigation right then. But did you see it? Yep. Yeah, we saw After it. sitting in the darkness for a bit, Takeuchi's light comes back on yeah, for we about saw it. He should have never left the house. And those same pale, unexplained legs can Look. be seen again. Look, feel the beast. I have went to a haunted house place by yourself. Why? That's crazy. But why I got shoes on this time? That's what I was doing. I was thinking that too. Why the this hell the thing got shoes on? This quickly out of sight. The investigator had no idea what he had captured until he reviewed his footage later it at home. Catch it. It didn't so did Takeuchi capture the spirit of whoever used to live in the creepy abandoned house? Could the uh, previous owners have met a tragic fate during a dangerous flood? Let me know what you think. You can watch this entire terrifying investigation over on the YouTube channel, Takeuchi Camera. The Night Visitors. This next video is a bit of a mystery as there is no source. The only info I found is that the footage was allegedly captured by a residential security camera somewhere in Vietnam. So, a Vietnam woman hears strange sounds coming from outside her home. Okay. She goes to check out the odd noises. And this is when things start to get really weird. You saw that? Looked like it was an animal. Wasn't it? I mean, that looked like a kid. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, she's terrified. A small figure about the height of a mm. toddler can be seen running off into the shadows. But another small figure can be spotted just outside the gate. Whatever it is seems to throw some kind of dust or sand over the fence at the confused oh, and horrified did. woman. Now it's unknown what is thrown and without a source it's impossible to know just what the hell is going on here. But uh, viewers of the video believe that the woman had an encounter with some kind of small creatures or possibly even spirits. For the last five years, Kent Burris has made it his mission to document and record everything abnormal that happens in his home, oh, the no, Lamb House in Carmel, Maine. Kent not says this. that the house is haunted by multiple spirits no. who regularly 
themselves fire. known through banging, bizarre even and often even manifesting as visible apparitions. <laughs> they through crack. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, what the f was that? Now, I've featured Ghost of Carmel Main on Nuke's Top 5 many times through the years, so if you're a regular viewer, the channel yeah. should seem familiar. Yeah. So, one afternoon after Ken has just come home from work, his grandson starts to complain that there are strange noises coming from upstairs. Just in case, Kent grabs his camera as he goes to investigate. What happens next is absolutely unnerving. Fortnite. Why I got so much shit? They got a lot of stuff. Jeez. Set a house, bro. Set the bitch on fire. Oh. Oh my God. As Ken is about to step inside the upstairs bedroom, a dark figure leaps out toward him, and then the bedroom door just slams shut uh -huh. on its own. Kent uh -huh. believes that it was. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. See, my rule is, if there's a room, on a weird spot in the house, the door gotta stay open. Door gotta stay open. Cause when the door closed, you gotta walk that way, probably in the dark. You gotta creep in the door. Oh, anybody in here? No, door gotta stay open. It's his time. wife who slammed the door. Now, possibly somebody because there. she was getting dressed and didn't want to be on camera. He goes back downstairs where his grandson tells him that his wife isn't in that bedroom at all but in a completely different room. No, I thought that was you up the bedroom, sorry. Kent confirms that his wife isn't in the bedroom, and then he goes back upstairs to find an explanation for the door slamming in his face. Oh. Bro, you need an iPhone. For real. Oh, it's there again. Bro, need an iPhone chat. It's no, it's no excuse to look like you recording in 2005. Facts. Like, come bro, on. Bro, this how delicious. You tearing that bitch up. This delicious. You tearing that bitch up, boy. Did you see it? What appears to be the same dark shadow figure can be seen inside the bedroom as Kent Damn, hands he around me on the room. But when Kent flips the light on, there's nobody there. So did Kent capture even not. more paranormal evidence in his home? I leave that up to you to decide. Let it die! Creeper. Let it die. Adrian Let Montenegro it. and his family are spending some fun family time together on the Cerro de la Silla mountain in the city of Monterrey, Mexico. But then something very Mexico is just weird so never to Mexico. Yeah, no. They said, send her up to the sky. The brother can't see that? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> That's a plot. No, I hate Nobody it. sees it? <laughs> nah. <laughs> the family didn't see or hear anything at the Not time at and they have no idea who or what Skin this mysterious walker. figure is or what the person was doing. Whoever or whatever it tall? is appears to be watching the family, being tall careful about it. maneuvering around in the dark so as not to be seen. So the question is, is this a paranormal event caught on camera? Or worse, is it a person? I beat the ass, shit. L, uh, camouflage or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> right? To creep around in the night as a white creature is kind of crazy. <laughs> a person creepily watching the family from the edge of the darkness. You decide. Evolution didn't do him right. Passing through. This next video was sent in by Nuke's Top 5 viewer Shahar from Israel. Shahar says in her email okay. that one night she and her friends were hanging out in the woods near her house, just having fun and filming some random Check. Do y'all just usually go to the woods? <laughs> like, y'all wanna hang out in the woods? Like, y'all do that? Check. Hell no. I live in the woods. 
I don't ever want to talk to you. <laughs> Aaron, I ask stupid questions. How about you go to the fucking woods, Steve? You go to the fucking woods with some fucking bears. How about that? It's not a stupid question. Videos. Then something very odd happens that they still can't explain to this day. Die, die. Ad akshav veshmat sao again? Nimas li. Bo tagid lehem taemet ma khorav vlogim. That will remind me of the first video. Ani lo meshuhad. Tagid taemet. Look a little too CGI. Taemet shelo tavino. Arak al tarbitzi. Istam lo. Ani taemet ne ane. Ani taemet ne. You have meshuhad shabu. The three friends are completely unaware as a strange translucent yeah, white figure sure. seems to float Look, right by on. them. It's Shahar's friends. You see it? That's CGI. Look. Watch his shirt. Look at the girl. The strange line. translucent white figure seems to float right by them. You see it on the shirt. Shahar's friend spots a dark shadowy figure off to the right. They all look and they oh, see no. what they describe as, quote, a black shadow running off into the woods. Shahar explains that the white figure caught on camera what? earlier. Because his name is Nuke. Blood is Yeah. You feel me? I, I Nuke, have you, you seen, I uh... <laughs> What's it called? What's the movie called? What? I'm about to look at that made the Nuke. Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer. <laughs> Nuke, have you watched Oppenheimer yet? I'm pretty sure. I wouldn't be surprised. ...was moving in the same direction where they spotted the black shadow a moment later. And they played back the footage that the hit the home. Oh. Hill was built back in 1929, and after a decline in student enrollments, right. it eventually closed in 2011. In the dark of night, Chris finds a way inside the old school. He plans to capture on video the remains of what God used to be damn. a stunning historic interior. Homeless but almost man. immediately, Homeless. Chris starts to find signs that he might not be alone inside the abandoned school. Got to be some holes in the roof of some homeless people for sure. Jesus Christ. The entire Robin in there. <laughs> they still in there, buddy. Facts. But they homeless. That's they home now. What's that? We are never right. going ghost hunting again. I'm telling you, bro. Only way I'm going ghost hunting or in an abandoned building is if I got a fully functional war machine. <laughs> Either the, the mother, not not the Iron Man suit. I want the war machine with the guns and That's the missiles. Insane. Cause if a try me, I'm a. <laughs> he was homeless, Eric. Well, he's dead now. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> I sent him home. <laughs> oh, look at him. As Chris continues to explore the massive building, he definitely starts to suspect that there might be someone else inside. Look at this. You disturbing his peace, bro. This will make a good thumbnail. Yeah. Oh, that's the music. Get you out. Mm-hmm. Cause. I ain't gonna lie, if I was a homeless man, <laughs> I'd come out there. Ah! I ain't gonna lie. Crazy. I if I was God. homeless, I'd break the law. Hmm? If I was homeless, I'd break the law. Send me to jail. Now I got a permanent oh, house. Oh, yeah. Was three hots in a cot. Yeah, for sure. Three hots in a cot. Yeah, nah, I'm scared. Hey, I'm coming out of there. Ah! Or oh, I'm running through the doors like Scooby Doo. Nah, nah. My hand. Whoa! <laughs> I'm just lost in that. That's a great idea, actually. I'm a dude. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, why is it stinking here? <laughs> imagine, imagine you walk in. <laughs> <laughs> Insane! Oh, boy, I gotta kill that. Insane! Why is that door like that? Is building forts? Hell yeah. The kill mode is on. Then stay out. Imagine an arm come through that. It's a person. No, oh, that's the spider web. I was about to say. Chris finds a door that seems to have been blocked off with no way to enter. So the explorer finds a way around <laughs> it by entering through out. the classroom next door. And this is when things take 
a terrifying turn. If you think somebody in there, at least he got gloves on. I'm gonna say keep, keep out. out. That's fresh. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, it was there. I'm about to say. I'm not going in there. Buddy got his whole setup in there, bro. Leave him alone. Playing Fortnite. <laughs> Leave him alone. Is that a going right there? Boy, oh boy, I'm about to respect. That smoking the flat. That be chilling. Somebody's been living in here. That been pissing in the cup, bro. What did they do behind there? Bro, I thought that thing was on the floor for real. Bro, you are bold. Bro, the shit. You are bold. Oh. I told you. I told you. I told you. We think like you got oh. <laughs> seems to be hiding in one of the rooms inside the school. Where was he at? Chris makes a I run for it, and it. luckily the stranger doesn't seem to follow. But that's yeah, not all that happened during Chris's exploration, <laughs> because not long after he entered the abandoned building, he captured something on camera that he didn't even see at the time. What did he capture? I didn't see that one. Uh, 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 I see one. Give us the red circle. Did nope. you see uh, it? Nah. All the way in the back of the hallway, someone can be seen walking ah, into one of the classrooms. He saw. After he watching saw. the footage back, Chris now wonders if he was being watched and followed by some he creeper was. the entire time that he what was up, inside spooky? the school. What's up, spooky? And once again, this is why I always say real people are way scarier than yeah. anything paranormal. This entire exploration and many more over on the YouTube <laughs> this came out. Hill. The unwanted roommate. <laughs> Take that user, username Who Zero, moved into a new apartment okay. in Poland. But soon after he got settled in, he says that he began to experience strange poltergeist activity. Right, These right, right, are right. a few of the scarier encounters that he was able to capture. So, one night Who Zero is startled from his sleep. Hey Chad, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm be I'm be so honest with you. Ghosts know not to f with me. Why? Cause I sleep with my gun. You know what's most scary? What, what's the most terrifying thing in the world? Imagine you a ghost, right? A gun. Hey, listen, 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 listen. Imagine you a, a ghost, right? And you go to scary. You go, ooh. That ah! You pull out a gun. It's Your first instinct, I'm like, wait, can this see me? <laughs> <laughs> and then you're gonna have some ghosts gonna be like, nah, he can't see me. I'm gonna keep scaring him. And then when I fire those bullets and it goes straight through him, he'll be like, wait, damn, he shot at me. I ain't feel it. Then he gonna go back to scare me, then his body gonna catch on fire. He'll be like, what the f going on? Just, I put I put virgin oil on these guns. Oh, <laughs> How you get virgin oil? You can buy virgin oil fucking stock is virgin oil. Virgin olive oil. Oh, virgin. I'm an extra virgin. Oh, boy, I, 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 I got a lot of virgin. I got a little spray bottle. I spray my bullets. Oh, oh. Them oh. hella flammable now. That's insane. Blast your back to the past. All right. You do that, my brother. Hey, it's about two hours. Something's happening to you. 
Oh, yeah, there's nothing there. Hell nah, bruh. Hell nah. It's that. Oh, shit. Oh, the door closed. Oh, no. Oh. Zero goes to check a violent pounding at the door. But there's no one there. His bedroom door slams shut behind him, and when he opens the door again, a chair that had been sitting all the way behind the door frame violently slides across the floor nah, right buddy. in front of him. Nah, buddy. Boo! <laughs> Boo! I'm shooting in every direction. I'm invested in a spirit gun. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm saying. Cut to another night, and Who Zero is once again not getting any rest in his haunted apartment. Cause his body knows something now. All you gotta do is cut on the fan and some rain sounds. You ain't gonna hear shit. True. True. Now, if it's loud, loud, because something louder than the rain sounds. Like, I hear when you close the door, open the door, right? If it's louder than that, run. <laughs> run. <laughs> Just run. Oh, no. He fucking with you now. He messing with you now, brother. Imagine that's a homeless man too. <laughs> what would be scarier than a homeless man with superpowers? A crackhead homeless man with superpowers? Well, I'm nervous for you, buddy. And it done already happened to you. He's about to spin a bottle on that fucking Okay, okay. Why the hell is the washing machine in there? Nice bathroom, though. Oh, he turned the water. Oh, damn, no. Burn it. Burn it. He's gonna be in his reflection or something? Burn it. Burn it. Don't gonna close. Burn it. Burn it. Bottom. Burn it. Oh, I hate mirrors. I hate the beer. <laughs> Hell no! What kind of light switch is that? Your front door is open. That was the bathroom door, it looked like. Cause he just left out of, yeah, that's the bathroom door, I think. A bottle in the hallway smashes to the ground. The lights flash. And when Who Zero nah, goes to check, nah, the bathroom faucet nah, is just running on its own. Nah, buddy. Even creepier, the light in the hall mysteriously seems to just keep turning off. I need and a the hotel. bathroom door slowly creaks open by itself. At this point, Who Zero has started to get fed up with nah. the strange paranormal activity. I'm telling you, this is what you do. This is what you do. This is what, what you, you do. do. It's simple. It's simple. It's simple. It's simple. All right. You get a grenade. A grenade? Because ghosts yeah, got to burn. That big got to burn. The ghosts are afraid of dying, too. I ain't going to hold you. They know they're going to the they're okay. going south side. A holy water grenade. That bro, low-key, that is why. They, they know they're going to hell. Ah. They're afraid to cross over. In Probably. his apartment. Probably. But it's about to get even worse. Even worse? worse? Who Zero right. decides to just lock his door and try to ignore the noises in his hallway, watching a movie got that on his That's laptop. But whatever is in the apartment does nah, not, I'm not seem to like movie. it at all. Hell no. Hell no. There's no fucking way. There's no fucking way. There's no way. Like the doorknob to the room can actually be seen moving. Nah, no one buddy. Knows zero. Nah, I'm buddy. Telling you. Nah, All buddy. you have to do, walk up to that, that door slow. One, two, three, four, five, six. I might have to, yeah, I might have to shoot. Six? I you just squeeze six to. times. Buddy, not moving no more. I have to, I might have to shoot. But he's not moving no more. Ignores the Ain't no way. Knocking. No way at the all. Pounding on the wood becomes. You shoot. That keep knocking. I've lost. <laughs> I, I, I've lost. The war has lost. <laughs> the war. 
win. <laughs> you, you got you it. win. You I'm win. Like, like, bullets are my last defense <laughs> to everything. <laughs> if they don't work, it's wraps. <laughs> it's wraps. Violent. And now it's a little later the same night, and the pounding on the door comes back yet again. Who Zero has had enough. He decides to charge out into the hallway to confront whatever is there. It did not go well. Oh my god! It just get worse and worse! Yeah, nah. Like, you can't defeat what you can't see. All hell breaks loose and who's zero oh, runs back to his bedroom to his oh, but his recording oh, hey. just as his own bedroom door slams shut right in his face. Now taking him out. Damn. Oh. Since these videos were recorded, username Who Zero has deleted his TikTok account. Rumors around the internet maintain that the activity in his apartment only got worse, and oh he just God, decided to. to move out. It is claimed that Who Zero sure deleted his because he believed Mighty that the cabbage. negative energy from the videos might follow him <laughs> to his. Say John Cena playing jokes. <laughs> Cena, imagine this actually being invisible. Hey, John Cena, follow me on Twitter. Oh, this new home. But everything's on the internet forever. Again, mm -hmm. that is all just rumor. So are these videos real? I don't or know, is these it are good. All these are just good. an elaborate hoax. But I'm blasting I'm you telling decide. you. One, two, Guess three, four, in the five, graveyard. Six. Popular paranormal investigator Frank from the YouTube channel you Franco TV travels abroad to Trujillo, Peru to investigate an allegedly severely haunted cemetery. The site is located in a very dangerous area. Ain't nothing more creepy than New Orleans cemeteries. Above ground. Huh? Above ground, bro. The New Orleans and the and South American cemeteries? No! Nope. Area of the city, so it's not surprising that Frank is a little nervous to be there. He keeps his eyes open for any suspicious activity, especially any dangerous people. It's dark out and getting very late when Frank begins his investigation. And it's not long before he spots exactly what he was afraid of. People. Ugh, I got a tell. Ah! What the hell is that? They, they, they grave robbers? Look like a seance. That's real. Have you seen someone or what? I can barely see with this. I'm gonna have to get a little bit closer. Oh, they, they sing it. Okay. No, nah, that's creepy. But are they real? That's creepy. A ritual? Look like it. Are you real or not? Right now, I'm hiding with behind a tomb area. The location where I was just at is further way up there. I'm not sure if you guys could see it, but uh, is he just chilling in a tomb? Yep. Is he just chilling in somebody's? What's up, family? We're chilling <laughs> together. The flowers right there. It's not disrespectful. I'm not seeing any signs of movement. They're still there in the dark. I'm just kind of waiting here. <laughs> Just about to sit. Movement over there. Look, they're leaving. One, two, three, four, four, five. Are they just disappeared into the? A group of people seem to perform some kind of odd cryptic ritual inside the graveyard. After they finally leave, Franco checks out the spot where the group had gathered. He discovers what looks like a voodoo doll along oh, with yeah, ten other voodoo. seemingly sinister objects. Nah, but I'm then, not touching it. strangely, Franco suddenly begins to hear the sound of laughter <laughs> coming from somewhere amongst the graves. Nah, what buddy. happens next is downright chilling. Uh -uh. No, sir. What the hell is that? 
That's somebody. That's a hey. Hola. How you doing? Hola. Quick. They move quick. See y'all you gotta y'all gotta move fast, bro. Hola. Holy I literally saw something Boy, peeking out at me right over here. His heart is beating. His heart is beating. Someone can be seen staring at Frank yeah, from behind nah, a mausoleum. Nah. Boot, you're done. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. What's up, Gango? What I wouldn't do this alone, but I have done it on like one of them little tour shits. I think I went twice, but actually, one of them tour shits. And I'm torn because they give you the tools and them working. Them be talking, apparently. Like they give you the like the lights, they give you the You sound like you bad look. You need the to say sticks. Like might be talking to demons. Them quickly hurries over to check. There's no one there. It's Horrified quick. by what he just experienced, Franco no longer feels safe and decides to just call it a night. Now, could it be that this terrifying encounter had something to do with the unknown ritual that the strange group performed? And are the stories true that the cemetery you is truly haunted? Phil. Let me know what you, you think. Need, right? You Why can watch this entire investigation sorry, over on the YouTube sorry, channel, sorry, lighting, Franco bad cameras. TV. Yeah. Like, only the ghost hunters got the sorry equipment. Everybody else. God, God see the Like, come on. Exciting. <laughs> One seemingly ordinary night a few weeks ago, the Las Vegas, Vegas Police Department received a very bizarre emergency phone call. An oh. audibly upset young man related a very frightening encounter that was allegedly oh, taking place. Oh, right I actually, I know about this. I know about this. Oh. Like this was this was on this was on TikTok. Oh. In his own backyard. There's like an eight foot person beside it. Oh and yeah. And another one beside it. And it has two guys that are looking at us, and it's still there. Okay, where is this on your property? Uh, uh, and the cops pulled up. Is it, I swear to God, this is not a joke. This is actually we so just two, terrified. But so there's two people or two subjects yeah, that yeah, are in yeah, your yeah. backyard. Correct, and they're very large. They're okay. like eight foot, nine feet, ten foot. I don't know. They're, they look like they look like aliens to us. Big eyes. They have big eyes. Okay. Like like I can't explain it. And big mouth. They're shiny eyes and. And they're not human, they're 100% they're not human. Las Vegas resident Angel frantically calls 911 after he and his brother hear something huge Nobody fall from the sky it, and he land right in their backyard. Oh, he did? Yep. The impact is so loud that it actually creates an audible shockwave. The two brothers the then find the tall creatures they, they can wanna... only describe as, well, aliens. Now, normally the police would consider such a crazy call to be nothing more than a prank. But police officer Evelyn from the Las Vegas Police Department actually sees and captures something on her body camera that makes the officers yeah, take the call we need that. much more seriously. We need that footage. Oh, oh yeah, okay. I don't know. No, that was, that's not a fun. I'm gonna be hiding because that's the size of a shooting star. I like that. I just kind of got distracted from that. An unidentified object emitting green light falls from the sky above Las Vegas okay. just before Angel and his family call 911. So, two Las Vegas patrol officers respond to the call. Oh, they were somewhere else. Oh, I don't know. I'm okay. So right okay. Now. I have butterflies, bro. Evelyn saw a shooting star, then these people say there's aliens in their backyard. I see, I see. Nah, this was crazy. The cops are like, what are we gonna do? <laughs> me and my brother, we just Did you see it? Huh? Did you see it? Yeah, me and him side. What'd you see? It was like a it was like a big creature. A big creature? Yeah, like around ten feet tall. I'm not gonna BS you guys. One of my partners said they saw something fall out of the sky too, so that's yeah. why I'm kinda curious. Like, Did you see anything like land in see. your backyard or they see like a big that's what they say. They see like a big uh, like a big something with light. Can we go that side? Yeah, yeah, we can go that no, any, do any dogs or anything? No, please, can you check because these kids is not going to let me sleep tonight. Oh, yeah, I bet. I wouldn't be sleeping. Here. 
No, nah, the I, craziest I, I, part. I, I, these. This is the craziest part. These these kids are they they don't they're not troublemakers. They don't do stuff like this. They're just normal. Kids. They're just normal kids. And so, like, the store, their parents are freaked out. Everybody was freaked out because this isn't like a prank that they do. But this next part is this part was probably the next part is the, the craziest part. Either. Two like, people I, see I, stuff I, all the time, man. It can be real. You never know. He sounded but, real serious on the nine one one call. What I saw right now, I do believe in it. I got scared. Like I, I, you guys don't. I mean, you guys seem legit scared. So I don't blame you. Did you see it? No. I'm kind of curious now. I want to. I want to know if there's aliens. I looked at the iPhone. I say, it was, maybe I, I want this. To definitely aliens. Like, like, where did you? Where did they go? Well, they say that. I'm not sure. Hey, that boy. <laughs> Tops. <laughs> to walk around in a row with no shirt and jeans. That fight for that asshole. That buddy's the head honcho. You have a dirt backyard. Can you show me if there's a. Uh... Now, the backyard has been blurred out from the police body cam footage before release. And the police say that this is for, quote, for what? privacy reasons. For what? And, you showed uh, I'm not going to put on a full tinfoil hat for this, but I've never seen police footage blurred out like this, especially when the residents have already given permission. But, exactly. Uh, who knows? And anyway, the officer doesn't find anyone or anything on the family's property. Now, with everything that has transpired that night, the two officers oh, are a little freaked out. Well, wait. But they still crack a few jokes with the family before leaving. All right, man. We yeah. appreciate you calling. Give us a call if you see I anything else. I want to find okay? some aliens. I know. <laughs> Legit, bro. Well, wait. If those nine. There's another. There's another piece of footage that I don't know was in this. You can see something tallest duck down. Like it's the craziest. Yeah, if that happens, are we still staying at this house? What? Huh? If what happened? That happened. That and I see. It? Yeah. First of all, I'm killing them. First of all, I'm dead. Yeah. Okay. yeah all I'm, right. You know, I so, matter of fact, I'm gonna fight them. I'm gonna. <laughs> You go, you go, you you're go, chicken to me. <laughs> Barbecue you go, chicken. You're gonna come outside, then they're gonna have me in his hands. So I'm like, ah, ah, Michael, <laughs> get around. <laughs> I'll be like, this. Michael, shut up. Don't leave me, Michael. Please. No, I'm like, ah, I'll be fighting. Oh, oh Eric, gonna see if the door just closed. <laughs> Ain't none of my business. He picking a fight with the road. <laughs> oh god! Call the police. Oh, come back here, okay? No, hey, it does. It does. It does yeah. Like beings come back. Don't call us, all right? Deal with it yourself. <laughs> that, I ain't dealing with that. <laughs> this strange story was picked up by the local news and went absolutely viral as millions of viewers watched the footage and wondered whether extraterrestrial beings had crash landed into this Las Vegas backyard. How you went back to heard of this? Goes even you didn't deeper go because there were multiple uh -oh. eyewitness reports. And homeowner Jessica Germana shared her ring camera footage that uh -oh. also captured the bizarre object falling from the sky. Did they land close? Oh. That shoot, boy. Since the original news report went viral, Angel has went public and shared his story on YouTube and social media along with the video that his brother took shortly before calling 911. Watch the fence. This is it. Watch the fence. Watch the Shortly fence. before calling We're watching the fence, chat. We're watching the fence. Look in the middle of the fence. Look in the middle of the fence. Hey! <laughs> First of all, first of all, something I never realized. What the f are those? What? Just <laughs> what are those? Now, Angel claims that they could see a tall, skinny, alien like creature behind the forklift. And many viewers of the footage swear that they can see a creature hiding in the darkness in this video. 
let's slow it down and I want you to look at the lower right in the fence you see some motion oh, there. something right there and something's right at there first I thought something's it was shadow, right there as you look closer you can actually see there are three points there's sort of a triangle and there's actually something you can see it's breaching the fence yeah no nah, that's like something right there look yeah. out beyond the section I highlight here you can see a sort of a shadow gets smaller like it's getting behind that this part, lift, and then a light turning on or an eye or whatever it is but uh, I honestly don't see anything here other than maybe some heavy video compression and uh, flashlight shadows that's not video compression or flashlight shadows that's not coming through the fence no nah. That's why you. Never mind. However, the family's reaction. <laughs> I, was about, I was about to tag you. About to violate new for no reason. <laughs> I was about to violate. New for no reason. <laughs> Apologize to my girl. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry, bro. I was, I was about to be a bad uh, violation. Be terrified of something they're seeing in their backyard, along with the captured footage of that the object falling scary, from though. the sky at the exact same time. Nah. It does make you wonder, just what happened that night. Well, I know the craziest part. There's more footage. That's insane. There's several people in that neighborhood that have ring doorbells. Right. They all line up, and supposedly there's a, a front doorbell, um, like a street behind or some shit, where you see it and you hear the boom. Okay, that's kind of insane. It's kind of sad. The reason I believe it is because the way that ran out the backyard. He was scared. That's real. That that in black, that say, ah, that's like real that was fear. fear. That wasn't like oh, fake. Fear. That was like the fear that make everybody else run. I, mean, I ain't gonna lie. I want, I want to, I want to experience it. Like I want, I want, you have. No, nah, like I mean, like <laughs> real, like real. Like I want, I want. If I see an alien, I'm, I'm let's do it. That's Me. crazy. And I'm, a, ah, I'm a fighter. Right. Oh, you gonna come back to this house? You gonna go upstairs? I'm gonna see a tip. Got this nailed to the cross. <laughs> Stop him! Stop him! Stop him! Stop him! <laughs> Get him off me! <laughs>